Captain. Good morning, everyone. It's Phil Wade with Dalton Wade Real Estate Group. We're here on Saturday morning doing our uh, weekly training session. Today we have uh, Micah joining us. Michael is one of our first agents at uh, Dalton Wade, and then we have uh, the lovely Lisa, uh, who also was actually the first agent, um, and uh, myself, Phil Wade. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about warm calling and uh, the importance of it, and just give some ideas in terms of um, um, things. Joel can... says good morning. Hey, Joel, how are you? Big shout out to Joel. Um, he's watching on Periscope. And uh, so, you know, warm calling um, is one of, uh, you know, I call them the four horsemen. Good morning, uh, Silvio. <laughs> Silvio, hey. Uh, good so, morning. Yeah. So we've got the, uh, the four horsemen of, uh, of real estate success. It's primarily for new, rate, new agents, but also <laughs> it's important for, uh, you know, for longtime agents as well. Um, and the four horsemen are uh, warm calling, which we're going to dive a little bit deeper into today. Uh, some, some, um, you know, some, some internet leads coming your way either through the company or through your own purchasing of them. Um, Mike has got a subscription with, uh, you know, with Zillow, so uh, he gets them directly himself. Um, uh, social media, um, you know, we've had chats on, um, you know, how to do a Facebook page um, and a landing page, and then the last one is. You know, your sphere of influence, referrals, um, and, you know, continually to work those. So the four of them um, uh, collectively add up to a very nice, um, you know, strategy mix. Um, you're not uh, dependent on, you know, one particular group uh, or area. So you've got a nice diverse background that's bringing in your business. And then, you know, as time goes on and you're longer in the business, more of it, you know, switches to, you um, you know, referrals, past clients, and, and less on warm calling. But when you're in the beginning, warm calling, um, it's, it's, it's a must. Um, you know, and I, I like to call it warm calling as opposed to cold calling. Cold calling is, you know, you're calling somebody out of the phone book to see if they're looking uh, to sell their home. Warm calling is that you already know that the person, they're either a for sale by owner, they're trying to do it themselves, um, or they've had an expired listing or a withdrawn listing in the not too past, distant past. So again, they're warm because they're just now actively trying to sell um, their home. So the goal um, is two listings a month. Um, and I've done other, um, other calls uh, on, you know, if you have two listings a month, you can uh, do eight open houses, you do an open house every weekend at all, at your two listings, four weekends a month, two listings, that's eight open houses, you get six people at each open house, you met 48 buyers, and then, um, you know, you're able to pull in, um, you know, hopefully one or two of those, maybe three, um, and you didn't pay for those. You didn't have to pay a Zillow or have a referral fee to the company or, you know, you found those buyers from your listing. So, your listings, that's why they're so important. Your listings generate other business. If you have a buyer, um, and again, I've said this countless times, if you have a buyer, you're going to get that buyer, you're going to hopefully sell them something, and then, you know, possibly you're going to get a referral from them. That's awesome. Or, you know, in three or four or five years, maybe they're going to trade up to a bigger home. Um, if you've kept in touch and nurtured that relationship, they're going to give you a call and you're going to get that. That's way out in the future. So, um, so when you have listings, uh, listings have what I call the multiplier effect. So you can sell the listing, but then through your listings, you're able to meet buyers. So um, you might get, you know, um, um, I mean, we had a listing over on, um, on uh, 8th Avenue. Um, it was 3338th Avenue. It was a flip. Uh, the guy started a little bit too high. It was a beautiful home. Um, unfortunately, it was behind a not so nice, you know, motel, um, and the motel kept people from actually purchasing the house. But no one in the photos saw the motel. Um, the listing we did an open house there every week, um, and I think we ended up getting, I don't know, five or six buyer um, 
transactions out of it. Jan Smith, um, who's not here today, she actually met Claren, who became one of our agents. So just good things happen because you're out there in the public and you're, you're meeting people. So again, listings, they're awesome. They're the lifeblood. Um, and everybody should be spending a couple hours a day. The hardest thing is starting. Um, and, and what I mean by that is, you know, I mean, we've had this particular training session in the past. We've talked about it, um, you know, and, and sadly, unfortunately, I don't see, you know, a ton of activity around it. So um, we're trying to kind of jumpstart it again today. Uh, where do you go? Um, you know, for FISBOs, you've got Craigslist. Um, you can you can drill down. Uh, there's a uh, there's a sort feature um, that shows um, all the for sale by owners. You may you know you may end up calling some real estate agents. That's fine, um, but you know you're going to find some um, you know some potential actual for sale by owners. Um, Zillow. If you again drill down, um, it'll show you. You type in uh, the zip code you're interested in. You look at the for sales, and then there's a checkbox um, with the people that are trying themselves for sale by owner, um, and their phone numbers are there. Make me move. Make me move. You know, you could potentially call those. You know, as well. Um, you could call some pre foreclosure people. Um, you know, they may be a candidate for a short sale. So, um, plenty of people to call. And then the last, um, the last area, um, you know, is around expired listings, withdrawn listings. Today, there aren't quite as many of those um, because properties are selling, so that's not maybe as plentiful as, as it was, but still a decent source, um, you know, to, you know, to call. So, um, okay, so then, you know, obviously there's the person's phone number. Um, you know, you have to be able to get that to make the call. Sometimes, you know, it'll be on one of these sites. It's certainly not in the expired or withdrawn listing. So, the red X, um, and that's the T H E red, the color X, um, is a is a site. We have a subscription to it. It allows you to um, it'll it'll for the expired and withdrawn. It'll give you multiple phone numbers. They search, you know, different databases to come up with um, you know what the homeowner's phone number is. Um, oftentimes on Craigslist, you know, the phone number's there. You know, you might send them an email. But, you know, kind of finding them and calling them. Um, and then again, the more you do of it, the easier it becomes. And then, you know, kind of the next thing to talk about is, so we've talked about where you find them, where you get the phone numbers, um, what are you going to say? So, you know, the company and, um, you know, we have scripts, um, but sometimes we did an interview, Lisa and I, with someone, um, you know, and his brokerage, uh, he was thinking of leaving his brokerage. Uh, they were very heavy into the calling. Um, they had the scripts. He didn't really feel comfortable using a script. Um, it wasn't natural for him. So, you know, he would be someone just to do it freestyle. There's no right or wrong answer about what you say to the people. It, you know, what's, what's right is that you call them. If you can call them, that's, that's, once you start calling, the calling becomes easier. So some folks feel better with a script. You can tweak the script, change the script or you know basically come up with your own script but it's that actual calling what i always like to talk about um you know if it's a for sale by owner um you know more exposure they typically have you know i like to focus in on the photography a lot of times listings don't sell because of bad photos that's something we can fix uh, i've seen it work um same same property same price new photo new photos new professionally done photos property sells immediately. So um, you got to kind of pick something that the person you're talking to, you know, it resonates, you know, again, the for sale by owner community, you know, again, some of them, you could say, hey, you know, I'll come wash your car, I'll mow your lawn, I'll take your kids, you know, to the movies, um, and they do it all for them, and they just aren't going to get the listing, you know, they just, there's something in their DNA that says I can't pay that commission. Um, or they've had a bad experience with a realtor in the past, you just move on from them. But there is a group of for sale by owners, they're just trying it out. They're testing it out. They're saying, hey, let me try this, see what happens. And then what they find is it's a lot more work, it's a lot harder, and sometimes you know they don't actually get um, the results. And then the other thing is, you know, 
since we do a lot of buyer agency here, um, you know, and, and if, if you've ever shown a house with a homeowner there, it's, it's not fun. You know, some of them hover around you. They're, they're, you know, they're so into their, and it, it actually works against them. You know, most buyers, they want to go in, they want to just be left alone with their agent. And then if there's questions, you either get back to the homeowner or, um, but they don't need, it, it, it just, it stifles really kind of, you know, looking at the property. So again, that's another thing you can, you know, mention to a for sale by owner in terms of why using a realtor is better. Um, but you know, and there, there's many reasons you're much more knowledgeable, um, about how to get a home sold, you know, than they are. So, um, so again, once you feel kind of your way around in terms of your script, what you're going to say, um, the other thing, uh, that again is important is, you know, kind of logging your calls, um, just from my own personal experience in, in doing, uh, calling, emailing. A lot of it is um, you don't you don't get the person on the first phone call, meaning they don't say, "Oh, come on over, here's the listing." It it doesn't usually work like that. It works something well. Let me think about it. Check back with me. Um, and again, what you're really trying to do is you have to add value. You know, they are paying you a commission, right? If you think of it like this, they're selling their house. If they could sell it really for the same thing, you know, the same price. You know as if they were going to use you why, why would they do that so you've got to convince them that you know in the end your service doesn't cost them anything which in most cases is, is true you get them a higher price you do a better job you take all the work off of um, their hands and you have a much much better shot of actually getting the transaction closed i mean we all know how hard it is sometimes in terms of you know getting stuff done and getting it finished well imagine if you're for sale by owner um, you know, and, and you're, you have to kind of go through some of the complexities of, of getting a home call sold. But, you know, logging your calls in so you're tracking it. And again, you know, I'm a big believer in kind of, you know, use, we, for everybody at the company, we, we, they have the follow-up loss. Um, log your calls right into that. Set up a task when you're going to call them back again and then, and then do it. And then, you know, the person on the other end will be appreciative that you followed up. It shows well for you, so you know, and it allows you to kind of monitor. Okay, how many people have I called? I mean, it's just very systematic in terms of, you know, what you're trying to do. So you know, whether you use Follow Boss or some other, um, you know, some other type of, um, you know, system to kind of monitor what you're doing, um, you know, it's it's a good thing and it will help you stay organized and you know get more get more business. Um, and then, you know, kind of the numbers around it, um, you know, if you call two hours a day, so that's if you're going to, if you're working, you know, eight hours a day and some folks are at 10 hours a day, you know, you're somewhere between it's 20 to 25% of your time um, you're doing these calls. And then, you know, what my finding is that, you know, you're going to get some people that don't answer, leave them a message. Um, but in two hours, usually if you're organized, you can get, you can call roughly 20 people, um, 10 people an hour, um, you know, that, you know, leaves some people you leave messages for and some people you have, you know, actual conversations with. If you do that, you know, um, you know, so that's 20 calls, that's a hundred calls a week, that's 400 calls a month. Um, and that's really the level you have to be at to, you know, and then what does that equate back to? Well, if you get a half a percent conversion, and I know that's a very small number, uh, but it's still, th there's your two listings. So if you called 400 people, you, you don't even need 1%, you just need a half a percent. You got two listings, then you can start doing your open houses and, and it all goes, you know, from there. So any questions, uh, you know, out there um, uh, in Periscope land? All righty, so any questions from Lisa? Nope. Micah? Micah's good. Go. All right, we're all good. So again, remember, you know, two hours a day uh, calling, um, you would be amazed at the results. Um, so until next week, it's uh, Phil Wade with Dalton Wade Real Estate Group. Do you have scripts group. people can yeah, use? Yeah, we have scripts. If anybody, uh, if anybody um, doesn't have them, just shoot me an email or text. I'll get them to you. If you need the login credentials for uh, the Red X, um, do that as well and uh, you can get up and going on that um, and again um, you know it's 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 the starting of it it's the doing of it um, 
you know it, it's 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 the lifeblood if if you know if you've ever driven by and i you know like oh how did they get like you see the for sale sign from you know like another agent and like how did they get that listing well you can be sure that not all of them because you know there's other ways of getting listings but a fair percentage of the people ended up cold calling that person and they got that listing so they called them before you did and they got the business and, and you didn't so you got a call so anyways have a great weekend and talk to you next week